He's under him now. So he's going to drive it to the edge and out of bounds. So first point on the board for Benji Peak. And, you know, we've seen Benji Peak. Um, I remember he won senior nationals in either 20 or 21. I forget which. But and when he did, he, he went out there like a ball of fire. And he wound up teching the guy quick. I, I guess what I'm trying to say is when he when he gets to the highest level of Greco, like at the World Team Trials and and possibly Final X, um, I think and I think he's starting to understand this. He kind of has to be a little bit nice oh, throw by we're gonna see. That's two. I think that's right. I think yeah, it's two. I don't, I think, I don't think he exposed. My goodness. Great job by Ogunsanya though. Yeah. To let one fly. Getting taken to the edge and. Does the old matador on him. Yeah. Ole! Two on one now for Peak. Total opposite body styles with oh, Ogunsan, yeah, you, you know. Getting... Compact, yeah. strong, big muscles, round shoulders, and uh, Peak's just a tall drink of water. Oh, yeah. And like that's kind of that's one of the things I love about wrestling is that any but any body style can do it, right? Like, not many of these guys would do very well in basketball, right? Right? You know, so it's like watch. Ooh, nice old arm throw attempt. To the edge, and this time it's Peak takes him out of bounds. Two offered. And two going to be confirmed, so Benji Peak's going to go back up what by a, a point. Man, look look at how he jacks up that hook. That right side underhook. Yeah, yeah. And, and it's nice. What it must be nice to be seven foot four yeah. and seventy two kilos. All right, but again, body style and using it to your advantage. Yeah. You just saw a perfect example of that. Hogan Sign, you're really hugging on that arm, trying to control that two on one. Pete keeping his elbow and his arm short. Double tight, his arm short. And that'll do it. Time runs out in the first three, two. So each guy with a two pointer. Peak with the one additional. Andy Bisick, multiple time world medalist over in the corner for Peak. There you see him with the, the classic Bisick stash. Strong mustache game. It is a, a solid, solid stash. Man, he's getting closer than I would have thought on scoring that slide by. I don't see that too often in senior level Greco. Passivity offered against Blue. So one point for Benji Peak. And Ogunsan is going to have to go down. Let's see what Peak can do on top. Of course, last time we saw this happen, uh, the match finished. So let's see if Peak can use the length, his length to his advantage. Get something locked up looks here. Like, looks like he's got his hands locked. He's got a great high gut. Lift. He's going to have to step and step again. He tries to run it. He's going to get trapped underneath. Two blue. Two blue white offered, paddled, but white, white paddles. Paddled. Nothing confirmed. No points.
Ogan Sanya wrestles at uh, at Army, and I've called a few of his matches at EIWAs and stuff like that. And I'm telling you, he actually has a you know he has a really good front headlock. He's got a great high crotch. Not that he can use that here, but <laughs> I'm just saying, like you know, th this kid can wrestle a bunch of different ways. There we go. A body lock. Now for Peak, he's both guys it. had it. Maybe they he's both gonna, still have He's going to pull the trigger on it. Oh, oh it's a it's Tanito it's scale sign. <laughs> you got to pay extra for that. Yeah, you do. Oh, he hurt his. Did he hurt his? And they landed it on. Watch this. His elbow. It's tough. He's tough. It landed on the uh, the carpet off of the mat. Holy smokes. Oh, it's his shoulder. He landed I mean, on his elbow, but maybe the impact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, affected the shoulder. Kind of pushed up into the shoulder. Hopefully it didn't hurt it too bad. Yeah, that'd be, that's a shame. I mean, he's one minute to go. He's up by six. Just hit that beautiful throw. But definitely taking his time, getting back to his feet. And here's that. You said it, he's going to go for it. Yeah, you could tell he was kind of jockeying his right shoulder into position. And when he squeezes, gets those hips in, he's going to let it fly. He's going to go. Take a lot more than a banged up elbow to keep him out of the rest of this match. Now we're down uh, at about a minute left here, Bader, and I'm telling you, I think PJ Ogunsanya is going to have to get busy if he wants to win the US Open. Peak just a takedown away from closing this bout. Peek back with the underhook on the right side. It's a little shallow, but it looks like it's kind of negating what Okasanya was working for. Peek's gonna get another point here. Pushes him out of bounds. Nine to two, 17 seconds to go. Ten. Oh, hey, got he got it. four. He, got it. he needed, he needed seven or eight, but they he got four. Seven, they don't have seven point moves in wrestling. No, not anymore, or maybe ever. Back in your day, they did. But hey, hey, good for you know. He wrestled till the end. He went for it. He got a four point throw. But hats off to Benji Peak, our champion. Seventy two kilos. He got it done. And the difference was that four point throw of his. Midway through the second period. As he meets with Coach Matt Lindland to his, accept his stop sign. Man, I want to see that uh, Tanita sign get crushed again. <laughs> Let's see that again. That well, hopefully cool. we pull up some replays here. Kind of recap the 